Jody jumping in there too this morning. Hello. Hi, Robsy. How are you, darling? You just made it. <laughs> if you want to pop yourself on mute, beautiful girl. So get your tunes cranked up, team. Now, again, just check your surroundings. You're not going to trip over anything. So nice and large. So belly's in tight. Roll the shoulders back. So nice and tall. And lifting up those feet. Let's get those music tunes cranked up. March, march, march. And three, two, all right, nice little step touch. So nice and wide with those legs, swing those arms. So minimal impact this morning, ladies. But we're just gonna get the burn on instead. Raise, raise. All right, reach your arms up, pull it down. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Four, three, two, one. Little, what am I doing? An easy walk, that's an laugh. My brain is on the way this morning. Forward and back. Forward, it's gonna be one of those classes. <laughs> out, out, back, back. So I want you to drop down a little as you step forward. So it's like a little bend. Down, down, and back. March those arms. Eight more, and six. Three, two, we're gonna tap change, other leg leads out. Out, out, drop down. So bringing some blood flow to those legs, some heat. Six, five, four, three, two, back to our step, touch, raise those arms. Swing, swing. All right, pull the arms in front of the body. Squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two. Let's raise up those heels to the booty. Kick, kick, reach and pull. All right, really get those heels up to the breeze, girls. And three, two, heel digs in front, press it out, push, push. So three rounds, three exercises, one minute each. Tap, tap, one minute, then 45, then 30. Three, two, tap to the side. So lengthen out these legs from one side to another. Bam, bam. Swing out these arms, open the chest. And tap it back. Push the arms forward, lengthen out those legs. Push, push. Do, 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 do. So reach out those arms, press five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake out those leggies. All right, first round, team. Let's have a little look. All right, so we've got our curtsy lunge, so you can grab dumbbells if you want, team. So we're just gonna be stepping, dropping down, and lower. So we lift up. Drop down for one minute. Okay. Time now. 
so straight down and lift. So legs are angled, we step a right long behind, bend the knees, step on up, press. Watch those knees. Now if you've got any injuries and the twisting on that angle doesn't work, come straight down and straight back and forth. Okay, so keep everything parallel. 25 seconds. So first round, you can have weights, you can hold them by your side, whatever you like, team. Your workout this morning, belly's tight, 10, 9, squeeze the bottom, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come to feet underneath those hips, we're going to squat, same side for 30 seconds, break this out for 30, I say squat, lift. You get one little time on. And yes, you can start straight down, straight up. Exhale. So lowering down. If it gets too much, just come to your squats. So squeeze through the waistline as you lift up. Three. Knees behind the toes. Dropping down. Five, three, two, other leg raise, other side, breathe out. So keep the belly tight, squeeze in strong. Beautiful, get that height. Want to control it up and control it down. So don't let this fling happen, okay? So drop, three, two, and one. All right, team, we're going to go into our split deadlift. So easy option, one foot is just staying on the ground. We're here, slight bend in the leg, come on up. If you don't have a bench or a couch or something quick foot on, do you tee bands like that? Or pop one foot up onto a higher level behind you. Grab weights if you want. Three, two, and let's tip from the hips. So we tip forward, reach the ground, up all the way up. So soft knee in a standing leg. Feel this way so you can see. So it's a little bend, tip from the hips, exhale. Breathe in, everything stays parallel. Light train tracks, shoulders back, five. Four, three, two, change those legs. Okay, this is a bit better. So other leg, 30 seconds. So press your toe into the bench, okay? So it's not onto the top of the foot. You're pressing the ball of your foot, the toe into the bench. Exhale, so you've got grip through both feet. Tipping from the hip for this length and stretch. Squeeze the booty, squeeze back and leg it to bring you up. Five, four, three, two. All right, back to our kids, you love this. Like, you know, we're not going to drop it down and make it smaller. We're just going to keep going one minute, one minute. Let go. Straight down. One minute. I was going to make the round smaller, but. We don't need that. So remember, if curtsy lunges don't work for knees or ankles, do a nice squat or squat hold, or step it straight back without the twist lunge. Dun, dun, dun. 30 seconds, halfway. So lower down through the legs, keep the body up. We're dropping down into those legs, squeeze the bum. 20, big steps. So make sure, why, then take it back. It's so kind of actually like a beautiful ball gown. Ah, curtsy, curtsy. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's squat it out, bring those feet underneath. 
shoulders back. Let's raise that left leg first. Inhale. So place it down. Lower, lift up. Slow and controlled. I want you to feel the waistline helping to draw that leg up. Feel it through here, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, other side, 30 seconds. If the leg raises, don't worry, remember, just do squats or just some squat pulses at the bottom. Keep the body moving. Good, looking good, team. Squeeze, squeeze, lower, exhale, lift. All right, 10 more seconds. Come on, girls, push. Good, Elena. Nice, man. Good pulses, Emily. Good, Phyllis and Roxy, Kezzy, Kate, Sue, Megs and Rachel, actually. Get those friends. Coming to your deadlifts, team. I'm going to see who else on the other screen here. Joe's and Jay, Courtney's here. Look at you all in the house today. All right, so step it long, press into the toes. Parallel, chest lift, straight down. You have weights as well, team. Inhale, exhale, lift. So even through both feet, as many as you can do. Knee behind the toes. Work in the back of the leg. Five seconds. All right, let's change those legs over. Reset. Find the bench. Straight down. 30 seconds. Remember, you can do a T bend and just lift the leg up and down. If you don't have a bench, you'll have to put it on the floor. 15. And that beautiful length and stretch and squeeze to come all the way up. Three, two, and one. Come on up. Last round. Cats and lunges. The legs should feel a bit warmer now. All right. Sit and go. Straight down. It's a big step. She'll go back to the center. So nice wide step, drop down, drop down. So keep the chest lifted, and belly's drawing in tight. Ooh. 15 down. So pressing the back foot. So we keep this thing to the side. So make sure we don't do this. We want to drop and lower down through the legs. Okay, keep the chest lifted and we're dropping down to the legs to engage. 20 seconds. Ten. Concentration. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right, into our squats. Left leg first. Straight down. One minute on. Lower lift. Place the foot down under those hips. Drop it. Lift it up. Ten. So keep the chest lifted. Watch the head start dropping through the back. All right, other side, lift up those right legs. Beautiful, lift it up. Remember, it doesn't have to be high, but control is what we're after, slow and steady. That nice burn, 15, 10. Nice depth in those squats. All right, last round. Let's go to our deadlifts. So, bent back leg, hip bones face forward, 
straight down, straight up, dropping down. So start to feel that nice little pinch in the booty, the backs of those legs. Shoulders back, keep the chest open, tipping from those hips. So lean forward, lengthening. Five, four, three, two, and change legs, reset. Shoulders back, tip it forward. Again, heavy weights, and hit the mat. The core next round. 15. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out those legs, team. Grab a quick drink. So grab your little weights. We will use four. one. So grab a little drink of water, then come on down. So come on down, grab your weights first. See, I'm going to come to all fours. Now you can do this with a little hand weight or not. Totally up to you. All right, so you're going to come to all fours. I think you can see my angle perfect. Roll the shoulders away. We're going to extend the left leg and the right hand. Take your weight into the right hand for me. We're going to exhale, lift. We're going to take it out to a diagonal. Keep drawing the belly in. Back to center, elbow and knee together. Press it out. Out like a star. Back in. Squeeze. Press it out. So out, center, squeeze, lengthen. So squeeze the booty. But I want you to draw the belly in tight. So 30 seconds, out long. Never gets too much of the weight, drop it down. Focus on the braid technique, then having that weight in that arm. Three more, gonna change sides. Let's have a look, keeping your body nice and still. So as we take it out, squeeze through the lower abdominals, squeeze that core, squeeze it back in, and reset other side. Wrist under shoulders, knees under hips, exhale, lift. We're taking it out wide, back to center, elbow and knee together, press it out. Squeeze, out to the side, back to center. Squeeze that booty, lengthen, lengthen. Good, spread through those fingertips. If it's too much of a risk, come down to elbow or place your elbow onto your couch. Three more. Keep drawing that belly in, two. And roll it over onto your backs, my ladies. So come on down, feet flat. So it's 30 seconds and 30 seconds. So we're going to come on hands behind head. Draw the belly down. We're going to lift it up to center. The shoulders are going to stay up off the ground. The belly's going to stay engaged the whole time. So we're going to reach our other hands. We're going to tap to the left ankle, center, then over to the right knee. Left ankle, right knee. Now keep the shoulders up and off the floor. Exhale. Now lock the hips in so you don't roll and lift as you reach over. Okay, squeeze. Isolating through the belly. So we lift up and over. Around, up and over. 10 more seconds. Smile. Three, two. And other hand comes around, right arm. Wrap it around, lift it up and over. Wrap around. Lift up, so I'm going to just come on up. 
So this is the shape I want you to aim for your body. So you kind of tilt into the side to wrap it to the ankle, and then you're going to come up and over. So you're bringing the body up and over. Perfect. So keep your shoulder off the floor. Hips are locked. Tap. Reach. Ten more seconds. We're just on the back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax the head down. Bring legs to tabletop. Knees together, feet together. Imprint your spine. I'm going to take the arms out to the side. Palms down. All right, so easy option. We're going to inhale. Drop the knees down as low as you can. Exhale, squeeze the belly, draw that back into the mat. So we're going to inhale, other side. Exhale, squeeze. If you want to work harder, we inhale, we exhale, kick, we bend it back in, we bring it back to center. That's level two. Or you want to work even harder, we kick it out, or we bring it back long, back to center. So inhale, kick, exhale, squeeze, alternating left and right. So again, just choose. Notice where your back and your core are today. You might take level one or level two. Remember level two is keep your breath back in or squeeze. Or level one is just keeping the knees bent. Squeeze your back in, draw the belly down. Flatten out through that spine. And five, four, three, Two, let's roll it over. Round two, team. All right, so make sure the knees are right under the hips. You can grab your weight or no weight, totally up to you. Spread to the fingertips and extend. Left leg, right arm. Inhale, exhale, lift it up. We're going to take it out to a diagonal. Squeeze back, knee and lengthen. Out, center. So you want to draw those knees up towards the belly button. So lift it up away from your mat. Bring it right into the body as you bring it in. Exhale. Squeeze the booty as you keep that leg back. Out. In. Out. Now if that gets too much, just keep hands on the ground. And just move your leg. Okay, so look out. Out. Knee in and press. Three more, team, before we change sides. Find that balance. They should feel the belly helping you to stay engaged and balanced. Change those sides over. Shoulders away from the ears. Lengthen and lift. Out to the side. Center, bring knee and elbow. So as you take that leg out there for me, team, I want you to squeeze and lift it long and strong. Point that shoulder, lengthen out. Back to centre. Press. Nice and slow. Out, centre, squeeze. Keep drawing that belly button up. Isolating and supporting through that spine. Three more. And two, last one. All right, let's reach it over, team. Blow it over. Feet flat. Hands behind the hips. Hands behind. Extend left arm. Reach the ankle. Up and over. Up and over. So a little gap between your chin and chest. No stray through those necks. Belly stay engaged. So we don't relax at any stage through this. We don't come back and go, oh, you're going to keep lifting. All right, change those arms. Other side. Use that right arm. Lift, lift, squeeze. Try to get those hips pulled down. The booty stays locked onto your mat. Isolate through those abdominals. Five, 
five, four, three, two, and relax, bring those legs into tabletop. Arms go wide, palms down. We inhale, exhale, squeeze back to center. Keep the feet away from the booty. Level one here. Level two, we bring in that kick. We bend and then we bring it back to center. So this is level two. And level three, keep the legs extended, draw back in and drop over, kick, squeeze. Now, if the lower back's really sore, you can actually drop one side and then squeeze. Keep the feet on the ground. So you can inhale and then focus on squeezing, drawing back. All right, so you can have feet on the floor. 10 more seconds. Try and get those knees down as low as you can, like a twist of the spine up and exhale, then squeeze and draw it down. All right, team. Last round, roll it over. Do, 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 do. So extend those arms, left leg, right arm. Let's extend it up, out, knee together. Breathe. And pick it up. Hip bones stay facing down. Lengthen arm and leg. 15 seconds on this side to go. 10, 1 more. Let's change those sides. Reset out, center in. Now try not to let the leg go low and lazy to the floor. Keep it high, squeeze that booty. Make that belly work at the same time. The stability. 10. Five, four, three, Two and roll it over. Coming down. So belly's tight. Hands behind the head. And reach. Left arm around. Lift. Try and walk those feet closer to your bum. Press the feet flat down. Exhale. Can we go higher? Can we reach a little higher? Lift, lift. Twisting yourself in. Up. One more. And other side. Wrap it around. Other arm. Should have said, you've got a fit ball. These are fun to do with a fit ball. It's an additional burn for a fit ball. Cross, lift. Five, four, three, two, and come on, two backs, lift those legs up. Arms out, let's rotate. And you know your levels now. Listen to your body. So the hips and the booty lift off, and I want you to in through that spine by drawing your belly button down, drawing that rib cage all the way back down into that squeeze down in front. Add the kicks. Breathe. Keep the chest open. Point those toes and extend those legs. Beautiful, lady. Good. Listening to the body. It's better to do the easier option and do it really good and do the harder option and not so good. Five, four, three. Let's even out those sides. 
So easing out the side, then grab a drink for me. Perfect. <sighs> Getting through it this morning. What's my next bit of punishment? Cool. I right, go back to the booty. So you're going to stay on the floor. We're going to start on our sides. So just have your dumbbell or your weight close by. So we're going to start by extending the body all the way up. Make sure those hips are stacked. We're going to bring that top leg. Reminds me of um, Jane Fonda, this one. <laughs> all right, <laughs> extend and relax the head down onto the extended arm. You're going to flex the bottom of that straight leg. So it's going to be your left leg, if you're laying the same as me. So the hips are stacked, this leg is just in front. We're just going to lift and lower. Now, if you have little ankle weights, you could add some more ankle weights onto your legs. So one minute, working those inner thighs. Now squeeze through the belly, up and lift. So don't let the foot drop. Okay, hips are stacked. So lift and lower. Smile, enjoy just having a little lay down. Get the belly to Bye, you're gonna go to work. I might stay there, team. They're coming to our clams now. So it's going to be all right. So bring knees into belly, coming close, hips are stuck. Now grab your little weight, pop it onto the thigh, lift those feet, keep the head relaxed. We're going to open and close. We'll start our timer. Open and close. So working the other leg now, open, close, belly tight. Belly is drawn in. So bring that weight just down to the bottom of that thigh, just above the knee. So open, closed. Bring it 30 seconds. All right, now take that knee up, kick. Keep that bottom foot off the ground, 30 seconds, kick. So we rotate through the hip, we open up, femur rotates in that hip joint, knee comes up towards the ceiling. So we squeeze, 16 seconds. Keep that bottom foot lifted. Tap, tap belly time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, lay on your backs, team. So we're gonna keep working this leg. We're gonna roll onto our backs. Bring both feet to your bum. Hands by your side, bring those heels nice and close to your feet, feet hip width apart. Let's peel all the way up, draw the belly in. When extend and lift that right leg. So knees are level, keep those knees nice and level, pressing into this bottom foot, squeeze up through that booty. So we're going to exhale, lift the leg up, inhale, just to knee height. Exhale, lift, inhale. One minute here. Then we're going to change sides. So don't let the foot go too low, okay? I want to have knee height. Bring it up, squeeze the belly, inhale. So try to keep the hips level, bring the hands under the hip bones if you need. Already halfway. Keep squeezing, lifting up those hips by pressing into the foot on the ground. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two and roll it down. Oh, hello, Ben. Uh, let's change sides. So we extend the body out. It's extending out top leg comes over, press that foot down into the ground, flex the bottom foot leg, bottom leg's foot. So hips are stay belly tight, lift. Waking those adductors, the inner thigh. So enjoy that nice little relax. 30 seconds down. So try to relax through the shoulders. 20. Woo, 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, relax. I right, bring both knees into your belly. Grab your weight if you use it on the other side. We're going to lift. So stack the hips, lift the feet. Weight onto the thigh. Open and closed. One minute. 30 open closes, then 30 kicks. Breathe out as you lift. Bring that weight down close to the knee, but not on the knee. Big breath out. Nearly done, groovers. All right, five, four, three, two. Now open those knees, keep that foot up. Now we're going to kick. Keep that weight onto that thigh. Kick, kick. Bring toes back. Kick it out. Woo. Lock the body in so we're not rolling. Excellent. Look at you girls go. Look at those legs flinging in the screen there. Woo. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to roll over onto our backs. So one side to finish it up. All right, so we're going to press down into the other foot now. So bring the feet nice and close to your bottom. Hands by your side. Come on up. Belly's tight. Extend left leg now. So knees are hip, uh, knee height level. We're going to exhale. Lift leg, inhale lower. So one minute. Might help by start the clock, right? So point those toes. Keep squeezing and lifting through this bottom leg, okay? Try not to let the bum get low. Keep it lifted. Keep stretching out, team. After this one minute. Keep the belly tight. If it gets too much, you're right, just want to hold it here. Yeah. We'll have leg up. Totally up to you. 29 seconds to go. Keep it slow. Inhale, exhale. We're nearly there. Go, go, go. Oh, the burn, the burn, the burn. And relax it down. Bring knees to belly, gently little soft rock side to side. And then just add a little circle, blend those knees in, pressing away. And change directions. You might want to put some more chill music on now for a little stretch at the end. All right, place feet as wide as your mat for me, team, on two. The floor, arms out, drop those knees over to one side. So feel a nice stretch and opening up through the hips, through the waist, to the eye gaze, to the opposite direction to your knee. Inhale, bring knees back to centre and over to the other side. So keep those feet nice and wide, as wide as your mat, so it allows the 
more space and room for the knees to drop down. Keep the chest open. All right, come to center. We're going to squeeze left knee into belly. Extend your right leg down onto the mat. Just circle the foot, loosen up those ankles, both directions. All right, flex the foot. Take it all the way up to the ceiling. Press your booty down. Try and press this other leg on the ground right into your mat. All right, team, let's change those legs over. Other knee comes into belly, squeeze it in tight. Circles, you might feel it through the hip flexors. Like hip or so as. Circle that point both directions. Right, flex the foot and let's take it all the way up to the ceiling. Oh my gosh, did anyone else's leg just feel like it went like 10 times tighter on one side? Oh. So press those legs, the non stretch leg into the mat. Squeeze it in, three, two, and just bend both knees, gently walk up. We're just gonna sit, take your right foot in front, left foot, bent, and then bend, and just tip from the hips, come on forward. If you wish, you can take that left leg out long behind you, which pull pigeon, and stretch up through the hips and the knee, and not knee, sorry, the hips and the booty dropping down. Keep this right foot flexed to protect the knee. Bring the hands underneath the shoulder, we're going to tuck that back toe under, or tuck it, I should say, and bring other knee in towards those hands. Again, remember you can bend the back leg, you can bend that right leg and bring it in. Dropping forward. All right, team, slowly come on up. Bring those feet nice and wide, toes facing, take a deep breath in. Interlace your hands behind you, extend the arms and then just tip forward. Reach those arms right up to the ceiling, keep the legs straight. 